So I'm in a bookstore the other day, okay? Yeah. And I'm looking for a book about Eleanor Roosevelt, okay? And I'm looking, and I'm looking, and there are nothing. I go to the E's, a book on Eleanor Roosevelt. It was crazy, it was nuts. Can you imagine? You know what could have happened? I'm not saying it's definite, but maybe somebody new was working, maybe somebody younger, and they just didn't know. You know, that's true. I saw people there, some in their 20s, 30s too, couple. Okay, maybe it's forgivable. The important thing is you found it. I did. And now you're reading it, and that's great. They don't know the Dewey Decimal System anymore. They're not going to libraries. They're going on their computer. I decided to go to a folk store and not go on. Have you seen this? We could get reclaimed wood. That'll work from like a gym. If you're doing a big room, sometimes they don't have enough of the same stuff that matches. If you go to the right supplier, you do. But I'll tell you what I was thinking too. There's a thing, there's resin, okay? It's two polymers. Is it resin or rosin? No, it's resin, R-E-S-I-N. What does it look like? I guess it's whatever you want it to. Cheryl, so, have you had to put any new wood in, or, or flooring in your house at all? No. That's another thing we haven't decided. Dark wood, light wood? It may, oh, maybe it could stain the mahogany. But so that would be So, you know silly. what, Larry? Will you meet me in the kitchen for a second? I need your help with sure, something. Sure, of course. I like the tiles that look like wood. If you get heavy, heavy wood. It's a fucking nightmare. Yeah, this is a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a complete disaster. My dinner party done. Yeah. Because Andy and Cassie are in the middle. That's what it is. And they can't meddle. You have to be able to carry the conversation. Yes. You have to be interesting. You're the point guard there. You're distributing the ball. They can't fucking like, meddle. They can't meddle. Look at, look at that. fishing now. Andy loves it. I love it. Skylar loves it. I can't believe it. Do you like fishing, Cheryl? Yeah. Oh, Mike, fishing. Oh, can we save this? Uh, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Larry. And the, it's the bucket of bait, okay? And which is called chum. They call it chum. I don't know why. And she takes it and she puts it onto the hook. She knew what she was doing. Okay. She was born to it. Okay. She was great. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. This dinner is not going very well. Uh-huh. Sorry. And the reason it's not going well is because the wrong people are in the middle. <laughs> what? Yeah, you can't handle the middle. You're, you're not a middler. I, Andy, really? not everybody has the personality for the middle. It's very presumptuous of you to even be sitting here. Freddie happens to be a great middle, I know that. I'd like Freddie and Cassie to switch, and I'd like Andy and Larry. But your house. So you I, I, I have yes. told these stories before and yeah. got left. Thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome. Anyway, let me just finish the story. No, Spy no, no. no more boats. No. I'll We're tell done. you later. Okay, I'll finish it. All right. Okay. This is how you middle, okay? okay? Guess who I ran into today? Who? 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 Kelly Lang. No, Get out no, of no, no way. way. Wow. I thought she was dead. No. Stage four, no. man. She survived her cancer. She's uh, okay. Oh, wow. She's living in Bend, uh, Oregon. Oh, really? Bend, Oregon. Wow. I gotta tell you, some of the best advice I ever got in my life was from Callie Lang. Huh. I was starting the business, and you may forget this, but I was deciding, do I go chairs or do I go mattresses? And she said, Freddie, not everybody wants to sit. But everybody's got to sleep. That's right. Huh. And I never look back. And I think I listened to it because she was stage four. Yeah. It had like an oh, impact. Yeah. I know. Right? I had the same sort of experience with her because she was stage four. We were having a long talk, and she gave me some very good advice. And she said, don't ever sign a prenup. Whoa. And I didn't. And it was very good advice. That worked out very well did. for you, Cheryl. It was very good advice. <laughs> she was smart about that. She was that. a sage. She gave me some advice when she was stage four. And She's it, the one who told you not to sign a prenup? Yes, she had some sort of perspective that other people don't have. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's good right. advice. Yeah. You know what she did for us, Jeff? Mm-hmm. Do you remember? We were going through that really rough patch and we were going to split. Mm-hmm. And she said, work it out. You guys are meant for each other. That's oh. nice. You're going to have a long, wonderful That's life nice. and a marriage. Bravo. Cheers to that. Bravo. This is a Bravo. great conversation. Bravo. Cheers to that. Bravo. Bravo. Bravo to you and to you I'm guys. happy for you. Let me ask you this question. What about stage three advice? What do you do? And death is not looming? Stage what percentage? 20%. 20%. You listen, 20%. What about you? 60-40. 60-40. Freddie? That's a true coin flip for me. I could go either way with that. Yeah. Harry? It, well, I listen, but grain of salt. Nah. Grain of salt. You couldn't pay me to listen to advice from a stage three. Stage four only! Wow. Stage three doesn't get his ear. I don't think. I don't think. Stage four! Stage four! Stage four! You're good. I want them to survive. They don't get your ears? Yeah, very good. I want them to survive. Stage four! 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 Stage